Good morning. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I have a what we have been warming video to do because my bin is way too full. Um, it's been a minute. Uh, so please be patient with me because um, Madeline has like four or five, maybe even six teeth coming in all at the same time, like all breaking the skin at the same time. And um, it has me a little off schedule, just a tad. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> please send your thoughts my way because I'm super, super, super off schedule. But um, right now, if you're on Facebook and if you have not subscribed yet to my Wickless Weekly email newsletter that I send out every Thursday and some random exciting days in between, um, I am typing the... Um, sign up link right now. I just commented it on this video. If you would like to subscribe, I have a special perk for new subscribers. So I just commented that down. But today's video is a what we have been warming. And I decided to do this live so that I could chat with you guys. Um, we have a lot. And I hope I have all of the waxes that we've been warming here. Um, you might have seen on my Facebook page that Madeline loves sniffing my empty waxes. And I always give her my empties because she has learned how to get the cute, like the actual wax out of like my full bars. And you know, the first thing she does is put it in her mouth. So I don't give her the full bars or like any bars that have like just cubes in them. Um, I give her the empties. So she loves them so much. We have random, like I'll be randomly finding like empty Cincy clamshells all over the house. So I hope they're all here. I hope. Um, but this is what we have been warming lately. And y'all know, Oh, you can't hear me? You can't hear me at all? Hmm. One second. Way too full. That's weird. It's playing on my um, computer. The sound is up. You can hear me? Okay, as long as it's working, maybe try, um, you can't hear me. Okay, just making sure before I do this whole video and I'm like on mute. Um, if you cannot hear me, maybe try closing it out and coming back. Miranda, I'm talking back to you. And also, um, check your volume on your cell phone if you're watching it on the cell phone. Because sometimes I watch videos and then I'm like, oh, hey, I can't hear. And it's because I have my sound off. Um, but as long as somebody, people, y'all, some of y'all can hear me and I just checked my laptop and it's working, then we should be good. Maybe just try to watch the replay. And of course, I will check this before I post it to YouTube. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, if you're watching the, um, the, um, replay on YouTube, I will have the Wickless Weekly sign-up link in the description box. So, um, but as y'all know, I like to use two full bars of wax throughout the whole house and all my warmers. I love mixing scents. Rarely do I have, like, just one scent throughout the whole house at the same time. Um, usually whenever I do that, it's been never, I am testing out, like, the upcoming scent of the month. Y'all know, like, whenever we get our scent of the month kits in and, um, you know, like, we have all those waxes, I like to put that, that scent of the month in the whole house so that I can really test it and see how, like, the performance of it, see, like, if I find any, like, hidden um, scent notes in it, um, you know, see if it's different from, like, a cold sniff versus, like, actually warming it. Um, so that's whenever I do that. And, um, but for the most part, like I usually use two full bars of wax. And so I love mixing my own little scent recipes. So I pick scents that complement each other whenever I'm choosing like what to warm. And these are all so mi <laughs> mixed up because of Maddie playing in these. Um, but so to start off, yes, I did warm the May scent of the month together. This is two full bars of Buzzworthy. This is the May scent of the month and it is a bakery honey vanilla clove scent and I really enjoyed it. Um, it had a really good performance. It was really strong and if you love honey, 
and maybe if you want if you've smelled like be my honey or if you love the be my honey from Cincy that's actually in our catalog if you want a bakery honey scent definitely grab the scent of the month so this is the May scent of the month so it's actually 10% off only in May as a wax a scent circle and a room spray and then let's see here what else did I warm oh one of my favorite favorite new little recipes is pina colada cha-cha with toasted marshmallow and this was actually like an accident um i was making a little sample tester things for my um little pouch parties for like the whole summer season and i made some of pina colada cha-cha and toasted marshmallow and i had a lot of like i had some extra cubes left over like i had i think i had like a few of each and so from all of the um cubes out of the samples that i made i just used them all in the house like in different rooms and i actually tried out pina colada cha cha with toasted marshmallow in the bedroom because we have two like large warmers in our bedroom and i love it so much that i've still been using it so i feel like this just like the toasted marshmallow is absolutely delicious it's literally like a like a like a s'more without the chocolate it's so good it's one of my favorite scents ever and then whenever i mixed it with pina colada cha cha it gave it that more like coconut summery vibe so love this like i highly recommend pairing those two together and those were two scents that i didn't i never thought that um i was gonna love and i was very impressed with it very very impressed with it um everybody coming on please let me know if you can hear me because we had some people earlier say they can hear me some people can't hear me i just want to make sure i'm not like on mute here <laughs> um but the next is another little combo i warmed together squeeze the day and cocoa lime again i have warmed these two together like several times cocoa lime is actually a new release in the spring and summer catalog squeeze the day was um a scent of the month last year but this is the first catalog season that it's been a permanent scent the perfect lemonade scent and then whenever you warm it with cocoa lime like this is just delicious and if you love that lemon lime scent you're gonna love cocoa lime and the, like one reason why i love this one so much is that i get so much coconut out of it but not like a pina colada coconut like it's just coconut lemon lime oh it's so good it's so good and warming cocoa lime with squeeze the day is one of the best citrus combinations you could ever warm i promise you i promise you just try it and then let me know how you think about it hey hello everybody happy tuesday happy tuesday it is already tuesday i'm ready for it to be the weekend <laughs> we're not even on wednesday um let's see what else did i warm together i'm a hot mess y'all if y'all are just not coming on this maddie has like four or five maybe even six teeth all breaking through at the same time and i've been a little a little off my game and i'm very tired and that's why i'm doing this live usually i do these videos and i film them and like i edit them and stuff but you know I'm, I gotta do what I gotta do. So, um, next, let's see. I'll do these. Okay, so, um, do y'all remember the Mix It collection? It sold out so fast. I love them so much. I really think the Mix It collection that we had in April was one of the best, like, wax collections that we've ever had. They were made, um, with, like, each wax was, like, a specific scent family. So, like, this one is Rainfall and Lush Greens. It was the fresh one. And this is Honeysuckle Peony. And this one was from the floral category. And the whole collection was made so that you can test out different scents and warm them and, ma like, make your own recipes. So, I actually warmed Rainfall and Lush Greens with the Honeysuckle Peony. And this one is a floral that I definitely enjoyed because it's not too floral. I love floral perfumes and stuff like that but like i'm not a big florally home fragrance person um but i really loved this one and rainfall and lush green was definitely one of my favorites from the mix like the mix it collection um so i warmed those together and then i warmed another one from the mix it collection this is fun sugar and vanilla and i warmed this one with which one did i warm this one with i think i warmed it with this one I think I warmed it. It's been a minute. 
since like I've been working on this basket of empties for a while, okay? <laughs> um, but I think I warmed the sponge sugar and vanilla from the Mixit Collection with this um, Angel Experiment 624 wax. If y'all remember the Angel scent from the last Stitch um, Buddy like launch and we had Angel come out too and her fragrance, so good. Like this is so good. Like, I would love to see this one back. I did not put it in my club, and I'm very sad about it. But I picked this one out because it reminds me of, like, a mix of Berry of Paradise and Sugar. Um, those two retired scents that I love so much. Sugar is actually coming back in June. Let's bring back my bar. But, um, so I warmed these two together. So if you have these laying around, I definitely highly recommend those. And then I warmed, let's see. Oh, these two. Yes, this was another um, little combo that I didn't, I hadn't like originally ever thought of. This is pineapple pucker with southern sweet tea, and southern sweet tea is like that perfect peach tea. I love southern sweet tea. I, I love southern sweet tea. And then I thought, you know, why not make it? Why not be making some fresh summery sweet tea and then add some pineapple with it? Pineapple pucker is like the perfect classic juicy. Like we just cut up a pineapple and. You know, we're eating pineapple slices. It's like that perfect, just classic, juicy, tart pineapple. And I loved it with Southern Sweet Tea. So this was a very good, like, summery, citrus, fruity drink mix. I loved it. Pineapple Pucker, Southern Sweet Tea. Definitely try those. And then um, I also warmed, what did I warm? I have a blueberry cheesecake here. But I can't remember what I warmed it with. Um, I think I warmed this one a while ago. I warmed this. I, oh, yes, I do. Um, I warmed this with vanilla bean buttercream. I don't have the actual bar here because I was digging into my vanilla bean buttercream brick from the past brick collection. They came out in bricks. Vanilla bean buttercream is still available like as a permanent scent, like as an actual Scentsy bar and stuff like that. Um, but I warmed blueberry cheesecake with vanilla bean buttercream because I feel like this was at a time and it was like rainy and it, it was that week where it got really cold down here. And I was like, I just need a bakery scent. Like I just want my whole house to smell like we're baking cookies and desserts and stuff like that. So blueberry cheesecake, y'all know this is my number one scent. Um, after that, I warmed, what did I warm? I had strawberry cheese, or not strawberry cheesecake. We need a strawberry cheesecake. Why haven't Cincy released a strawberry cheesecake and like just the plain New York cheesecake? I need that in my life. Um, this is sugared strawberry. <laughs> I had a cube of this left too whenever I was making my little testers. So I had this somewhere in the house um, whenever I warmed the cocoa lime, not the cocoa lime, the um, toasted marshmallow and the pina colada cha cha. So I had a, a cube of this. So I think I put that one in the bathroom, which of course, sugared strawberry is like the perfect sweet sugary strawberry ever. Um, and then I had, I already talked about that one. And then Perfectly Pomegranate. I warmed Perfectly Pomegranate with vanilla bean buttercream. Yeah. I had never warmed Perfectly Pomegranate with a bakery scent. And so I thought, why not? And I dug back into my vanilla bean buttercream brick, warmed it with Perfectly, perfectly Pomegranate. And it was like the perfect, like, berry pie or berry, you know, just, what am I trying to think of? Not a croissant, but like a um, Danish, something like that. Like, oh my goodness, it was delicious. I it, I will always say perfectly pomegranate is so underrated. I feel like it gets looked over because it's been in the catalog for so long. But this one is so good. Just pomegranate and I think it says dark berries in the scent description. Um, it's also so good with blueberry scents. Um, Berry Bra, it's so good with Blueberry Rush. Blueberry Rush is coming back. We'll bring back my bar next month. I'm so happy for that. But Perfectly Pomegranate with Vanilla Bean Buttercream. Both are current scents. Try it, thank me later. Delicious. I have just been on a bakery kick, I think, because the next two is actually another summer bakery scent. Um, I warmed Chiro Chiro with Butter Pecan. Um, this is the first permanent cat, no. Last the fall was the first permanent catalog that Butter Pecan became available, I believe. Um, this is Butter Pecan, perfect. Just, oh, it's so good. I, just, I forgot how good it is. Um, this 
is similar to vanilla bean buttercream in the sense that like vanilla bean buttercream is the perfect mixer. Like if you wanna make every or any scent a bakery scent, put in like vanilla bean buttercream or sugar cookie or um, butter pecan. So this is delicious and I just needed a delicious home fragrance. I warmed this over the weekend, I believe. And you know, when we're all quarantined, staying at home, and it was one of those weekends where we were like, we, we didn't leave the house and I just needed some butter pecan with Chiro Chiro. And this is the perfect, like cinnamon toast crunch, I swear. It's like the perfect cinnamon sugar fragrance. Like you're cooking, it's, well, it's not cinnamon rolls. Um, I feel like cinnamon rolls, do y'all remember sticky cinnamon bun? That was a past Scentsy fragrance. This is more like, I mean, like a classic Chiro. Um, it reminds me, every time I smell it, it reminds me of whenever we got to go to Disney with um, Cincy a couple years ago and I was pregnant and I remembered like we walked past a little Cheero stand and I smelled it and I was like, okay, well, pregnant girl's gonna go over here and get herself a Cheero. <laughs> um, it smells just like the perfect, perfect cinnamon sugar, delicious. And so I mixed this through the house with butter pecan and it was so good. Like I will definitely be warming these two together again. Chiro Chiro is also a really great mixer. If you want like to any scent, if you want to add like a cinnamony bakery top note to it, Chiro Chiro is perfect. So love those two together. And then last but not least, I had, oh, these are two retired. I dug into my little personal stash um, I had Driftwood Bay from last summer. Was that last summer? I love Driftwood Bay. So Driftwood Bay was in the summer collection last year. And then Hashtag Goals was from the No Limits collection that came out last year. Love these. I needed like a, I remember I just needed like that more masculine kind of woodsy sensual fragrance, you know, like walking into a Hollister or something. Like I needed that in my life. So warm those two together for my personal stash. And then last but not least what i'm warming today <laughs> how to put it in the bin just to show you what is here i have the special wax from the may whiff box so in the scentsy whiff box that you actually order from like it comes from scentsy in a beautiful box you have probably seen me post pictures and do lives and unboxings with it i love getting a whiff box every month because it's a surprise for me like consultants don't know what's in it until like the first consultant gets it and then they share um with all of us like what's actually in that month's whiff box um the theme changes every month and usually they add a wax sample of the upcoming scent of the month so i was expecting to get a wax sample of the june scent of the month and they actually gave us a full bar. So, um, they gave us a full wax of Welcome Summer. This is the June set of the month. And then the wax samples, they gave us four mystery wax samples that were all unnamed. They were white. They didn't have any color to them. Um, they had numbers on them, like number one, number two, number three, number four. And the special part of like the Maywith box was that, um, since you wanted you to smell them, warm them, and then submit your feedback about these scents because um, they are possible fragrances coming in the next spring, summer 2021 catalog. So I warmed the Welcome Summer June, June scent of the month with all four of those waxes. And if you um, have been using those samples, my favorite was number three, number four. Those are more citrus fruity. Um, number one and number two, like one of them was fresh and one of them was floral for sure. So I think I put the floral in our bathroom as I cut it in half, put it in our bathrooms. And then um, the fresh one, I think I put in my office. And then I put one of my favorite, the citrus fruity one in our bathroom or our bedroom. And then I put another one, the other one in um, one of the warmers in our little kitchen living room area. And then kind of like mixed throughout the house, I had Welcome Summer. So this is very good. I'm very excited to tell you that it's not just fresh. It's actually in the fresh category, but whenever I warmed it, I got a lot of that fruity note to it. Um, it has watermelon in it 
and I got like a good sense of that sweet watermelon, but it wasn't like fruity. It was more kind of like how Here Comes the Sunflowers is a, it's a fruity floral. This one, Welcome Summer, is a fruity fresh scent. And Brandon complimented this one. He said that he really liked that it's one of those scents that it's like it's there and you smell it. Like it just smells like your house just naturally smells that good and delicious, but it's not like something that's overpowering. So he gave a compliment about it. He loves it. So I can't wait for my scent of the month kit to come in so that I can warm two full bars of this throughout the whole house and just really test it out. But I really loved this. So if you get a May with Fox, then you will get a full box or a full bar of this and then those four um, secret samples. And the May Whiff box is available in May while supplies last. So it's a $30 box. But um, that's it. That's what we have been warming. Look at all this wax. Hi. <sighs> so much wax. <laughs> so I'm going to have to keep at least a few of these empties in my bin for Maddie. Because if she doesn't have any empties to smell through, she's going to get super sad. Um, thank you, my friends. Sure, I found this at Walmart. In the pajama it's like a pajama shirt but i wear it everywhere it's just a shirt for me um i dress for comfort and to be cozy no matter how hot it is outside um I, I still like to be cozy um so that's it and again if you're tuning in now if you're on the facebook i have tagged in the comments the link if you have not subscribed to my weekless weekly email newsletter um you can subscribe with that link and I have a new special perk for new subscribers and then if you're watching the replay on YouTube I will have that link in the description box so that's what we have been warming I would love to hear what you have been warming and loving and mixing I want to know all of your um, recent summary wax choices so that's it guys as always don't watch me join me thank you for watching and have a great Tuesday